Hello everyone! In today's video, I am going over Sova Recon Arrows and Shokhtar lineups on Breeze. These are the lineups I use in most of my ranked games in Immortal and Radiant. They are easy and simple to line up and very effective when used correctly. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. But before we start, make sure that you are subscribed and that you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on the future content. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. Now back onto the video. When it comes to attacking A, most of the time you wanna go fast. And that's why I'm lining up my recon arrow before the round starts. To line it up, you will wanna go into the little corner right here between the box and the rock. And simply this is you will be aiming at a corner of the metal part right here with your second vertical line in your charge bar. You're just gonna put it a little bit above the corner, like this. This is going to be a simple third charge. Revealing area. And when you combine this with a drone, you can clear the whole site completely. Standing ahead. Take flight. After your team has successfully planted the bomb on A, you will go back to watch for the flank and prepare for the shock darts. In this scenario I don't use double shock darts, I use single shock darts two times. And the way I line them up is from this position right here where I also watch the back. It's an off angle, people shouldn't pre-aim you and expect you here. If after a couple of seconds nobody is pushing the flank and the enemy has started a retake, you can prepare the lineup. The way you line it up, you just simply look a little bit left of the leaf and you do a third charge. The way I do it, I preemptively shoot both of the arrows and then I wait until the second arrow hits and then I peek with it. So it looks something like this. When it comes to taking control of the mid in attack, I use a fast early information recon arrow that reveals mid and someone pushing from B tunnel. The way you line it up, you will line up this edge and this edge before the round starts. Like this. Then you will simply see this black box here and you will aim in the top right corner, a little bit above it. Then you would just simply do a full charge. Revealing area. The arrow can land anywhere on this wall and it's gonna scan someone peeking with the orb here. Someone trying to take early information from B tunnel. When it comes to attacking B, you apply the same principle as on A. You will want to go fast and you will want to have a slow execute arrow combined with your drone to clear the whole site and get it for free. The way you line up a recon you will go into this corner before the round starts. You will see this part between these two black spots on the wall. And you will put the letter C right in the middle of this. You're gonna do one bounce and a full charge. Ahead. And when you combine Standing arrow ahead. with a drone, The arrow clears the whole left side while your drone clears the whole right side and a little part of the mid and B tunnel. After you have successfully taken the B side, make sure that the bomb is planted on the default spot right here. And again, your job as a SOA will be watching behind that nobody flanks and you are preparing for your double shock darts for the post plant. In this scenario, it would be preferable that you have someone lurking up mid. Right here or someone with you watching the flank as well so you can line up your shock darts 
without worrying that anyone is going to be coming from the back. The way you line it up, you line up this edge with this edge, like this. The first arrow, you will be looking exactly here with your left drone icon. There's going to be a little circle, circle here. And you're just going to put the left drone circle inside that. And this one is going to be a third charge. The second arrow, you will simply look at the bottom left part of the cannon. And you're going to put the top part of your second vertical line in your charge bar. And this one is going to be second charge, but with the jump. And together, they look like this. When it comes to defense, I always like to position myself in a place where I can be fast to the rotations on A or B. With that being said, the two com most common arrows that I use while playing mid. The one is simply after the barrier goes down. No lineup needed, you just simply shoot it on the wall right here. And it's gonna reveal, doesn't matter how it lands, it's gonna reveal either hanging around or here, or if somebody's trying to push the vent area. And the second recon arrow is from mid -ness. that is uh, fast and early information on B. The way you line it up, before the round starts, you go into this corner, you will see this little button on the ground, and you will look at your drone icon. To the right side, there's gonna be a horizontal line between drone icon and shock dart icon. You're gonna put the left edge of that horizontal line touching the right edge of the button on the ground. You'll do double charge, double bounce, and full charge. Revealing area. Alternatively, if you want to play in the beginning of the round in mid nest, you can use the arrow that reveals early mid. If your early B information arrow doesn't really do much, it's lined up from the same position before the round starts. You will look at this part of the box, top part, and you will put your first diamond. Top part of it, you're gonna line it up with the box like this. I'm gonna do full charge, one bounce. Ahead. In a situations where the enemy is going B and you are playing closer to the A, the best thing you can do while rotating is prepare for the double shock dart lineups to stop the plant. For the first arrow, you will go into this corner right here and you will see on the wall there's this dark part of the leaf right here. You're gonna use your second diamond, left part of it. You're gonna use it so it covers that black part. Then you're gonna, you're gonna slightly move it down just a little bit so it shows just a little bit above it. And this is a third charge. For the second arrow, you want to quickly reposition yourself into this corner right here. And then you will simply see this big black part of the wall. You will aim slightly above it. You're gonna do full charge and one bounce. And when you do them together, it looks something like this. In some of the rounds, you might find yourself closer to B while the enemies are pushing B. Most of the time, there's gonna be a Viper wall covering this, and you're not gonna be able to help your team on B side. The best way you can do then is you can line up for the shock dart. This is not going to be a double shock dart, so you will have to shoot arrow one after another. You will go backs against this wall, and you will look at this white part on the wall right here and line it up with the edge of this wall, like this. 
And once you have this, you will see this part, darker part on the wall right here. You will aim exactly at it and then move it a little bit down. And after that, you're gonna do full charge and one bounce. When your team is ready to retake B, you will line up yourself for a retake arrow. You will go into corner right here. You will look at the letter N, the bottom part of the letter N. You will put your second diamond, top part of your second diamond, right under there. You're gonna do double bounce and full charge. Scanning ahead. Next lineup is a double shock dart lineup that I use when the enemy team is excessively running A and just rushing really fast on A. The way you line it up, you will go into this corner, then you will crouch, you will look at this part right here with your shock dart icon, top part of it. You will put the top part of your shock dart icon so it exactly matches the part on the pyramid, then you will do one bounce and third charge. In the second one, you will stay in a crouch position and you will aim right here where the little bit of a lighter green part of the leaf is. This one is also gonna be one bounce and third charge. Together it looks something like this. Alternatively, if the enemies are going excessively and rushing A, you can also prepare double shock darts to stop the plant. The way you line it up, you will jump on the gas tank right here in the corner. And you will look where the dark part on this blue wall ends, right here. And you will look at your drone icon. The line under your drone icon you will put it exactly where the black part ends. This one is gonna be a third charge and a jump. The second arrow you line up from the same spot. You look at the white part on the wall right here. You're gonna use your first vertical line in your charge bar. You're gonna line it up like this and then you're gonna move it slightly down until it's right about in the middle and after that you're gonna do one bounce and third charge and when you combine these two together it's gonna look something like this With the retake arrow on A, you don't really need any special lineup. All you need to make sure that this part of the map is clear. And what I simply do, I just simply full charge my recon arrow from up right under the bridge. Revealing right A. there. It lands right on the edge right here. It's gonna scan this corner. It's gonna scan all of this. It's gonna scan outside and in the back pyramids. And that's gonna be it for today. With Breeze, I am finalizing my lineup series until a new map comes out. The next series I will be doing are going to be guide videos on how to play Sova on every map, both attack and defense, utilizing all the lineups I have shown since I started uploading and best tips and tricks on how to be effective as a Sova without needing to know a million lineups. So stay tuned for that. If you like this type of content, please consider leaving a like and make sure you are subscribed to not miss out on the future content. Until then, thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.